this uh, gallery because of this sculpture. Now, I wanted to, you know, I wanted, I, as always here on the show, we always want to dig, you know, I'm toilet paper. I always want to dig a little deeper. You know, I want to get, a, I want to wade into it a little bit. So we have a guest here tonight uh, on the phone with us uh, from Bayonne, New Jersey, is uh, our friend Lynette Schwartz. Lynette, uh, it's a pleasure to have you back on the show. Uh, thank you, Tori. It's a pleasure to be here. Very excited uh, to be here tonight and to talk to you about art. That's right. Uh, Lynette Schwartz is the education supervisor out in Bayonne, New Jersey. She has a new book coming out January 21st called You Call That Art? The Dumbing Down of Art in America. And uh, Lynette, um, since you wrote this book, we wanted to have you on the show to talk about um this uh, this art installation. Well, I'll tell you, Toily. Um, you know, my book uh, deals with the dumbing down of art, and I I think we're in a dire period. We're in a period right now where art could not get more stupid. When you look back, Toily, at the classics, the classics like you know the Mona Lisa, right? Uh, Picasso's sunflowers. Um, you know, the, the classic... Yeah, all the classic photos. All the classic... Well, not photos. Well, I mean, okay. All the classic paintings. Yes, the classic paintings. And then you look at this... I don't know, this installation, this art, this woman slumped over in a ball of soup. It's, it's just stupid. And you know, I will tell you, Toily, it was not surprising to me to to read uh, just as you read in that article that the artist was from america because america produces the stupidest art in the entire world well i don't i think we have some good artists i don't think you can just uh blanketly say that uh there's no good art uh created in america Oh, uh, uh, totally it's it's horrible it's horrible and in my book i talk about you know, to be blunt, how, how crappy uh, art in America is and what can be done about it. And uh, when this book comes out, I think it's really going to revolutionize the art world. All right, but, but let me ask you, though, what is... You have this, uh, this, this, uh, this art installation must be pretty good because it's tricking people into calling the police. I know, you know, there is this, this thing that... Uh, has been put in people's heads um, for years now that art must move you. That when you look at a piece of art, to truly be an art, it, piece of art, it must move you. Did you hear about this woman who, who uh, the other day, she was a quote-unquote artist, and she crocheted herself into like a little cocoon? Come on, that is stupid. All right, well, I did see that. I did see that. Uh... I didn't see that, but I, I don't know how... Well, yeah, listen, uh, Bryant in the chat says art is about sparking a discussion. So obviously it's working. Oh, this is... Listen, art is about a discussion, but you want an intelligent discussion. You don't want to feel like you're you know, have a brick and you're banging it against your head, which is what this installation of this woman... Did you did you read in that description? It said that uh, it was made out of um, packing tape and foam filler? What? That's not art. Okay. All right. So you're, you're down on modern art. Art has not been good. I, I would say... You know what? I'm going to say it in about a hundred years. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're saying... You're saying you're, you're saying that art hasn't been good since 1923? 1923 was the last year we had good art. Can you name, please, for us, what the last great art piece from 1923 you think what? Well, I mean, I mean, I don't even know why I have to answer this question. Of course, it was, it was uh, the classic painting, uh, Roses in a Vase. Uh, by Damon Phillips. Damon Phillips. I've never heard of that artist. See, that's the problem. You've heard of this uh, Banks, Banksy, Banksy, who goes all over and spray paints walls without people's permission. Uh, and then, uh, you know, you have uh, poor Damon Phillips who just, you know, wallows in obscurity. Is he still alive? No, he's been dead for years. For God's sakes, Toily. All right, Lynette. All right, Lynette, so you... You want to you want okay what's the matter i don't know I, i'm trying to form 
formulate a question and this girl in go-go boots behind me getting into the car was uh, distracting me. Stop looking at the girls and uh, ask your questions. You're your host of a show, God damn it. All right. Easy, Lynette. Easy, Lynette. All right, listen. Lynette, here's my question. Uh, you say that art has all these problems. You say American art is... American art is the lowest form. American art... Do you know toilet, your roll of toilet paper? Do you know what you wipe up? Yes, I know what I wipe up. American art is lower than that. All right, come on. Let's sit. Let's. What is your point? How how can we change this? How can we make art better? Well, I've got a si I've got a simple situation, and I, I am happy to say that I see that this is a real turning point in art, uh, and we live in a marvelous age, Toily, where the uh, the art. That you're going to see in the next couple of years is, pardon my French, is going to be fucking awesome. All right, listen, can you, we're, we're streaming live. Could you watch your language? I'm sorry. What do you mean that the art, you're seeing the art turn a corner? Well, here's the thing. Humans, as humans, we've, we've lost our way. We, we are so mired in the weeds of mediocrity. Uh, the only thing that's going to help us get out of it is... Uh, computers and machines. And so that's why I am all in, all in, Toily, on this AI art. All right, no, no, okay, this is, I will tell you right now that this uh, AI art is very, very controversial. Well, it's controversial because uh, people, people don't want to leave mediocrity behind and embrace the glorious new future of our robot overlords. Okay, what does that mean? Nothing, it's, it's just, it's time to let the machines take over, is what I'm saying. It's time to let the... For years, uh, our art has been soulless. So let's give it to, to the machines and let the machines run with it and see what they can do. All right, well, now this art thing has been very, very controversial because these AI machines were trained on other art and then now they're producing, like, art in that style. Yes, that's true, but here's the thing. These artists are getting all upset. They got their... They got their little panties in a bunch. All right, please, Lynette, please. Sorry, but they're all upset about the the AI machines and making art in their style. Well, just take solace in that you've trained this machine. A little piece of you is now in this machine and creating art. If you were an art teacher and you were an artist and you became an art teacher and you taught people how to paint and then they went off and painted and then they, one person in your class made a really good painting, would you be pissed off? Would you be upset? No! So you've taught these machines. They're going to go out in the world and they're going to make art that, frankly, is much better than any of these boring, repetitive, drivel artists could ever make. All right, Lynette, I think... I think, uh, I think, I think you're going to have a lot of detractors. That's all I'm going to say. Well, the AI machines can paint the tractors. No, that did, oh my God. Oh my God, Lynette. Ah. All I'm saying is, there's a, you see a lot of people online, again, uh, excuse my language, bitching and moaning about, um, you know, what they're going to, what they're, about all this art and about AI making art. I love AI. I'm, I'm, I, I am investing in Bitcoin so that I can give all my money to the computers. All right. Well, that's... What is a computer going to do with money? Listen, that's not up to me. I, I want to be a patron of the arts. I'm going to fund all these AI machines. And when you read my new book, you call that art, The Dumbing Down of Art in America. It's going to be perfectly clear. By page 433 of that book, you are... Wait a minute. 433? How many pages are in this book? 562. What? Oh, God. By page 433, you're going to be so on my side that it is going to be fucking unbelievable. All right, listen. You can't. You can't. You can't. You got to stop swearing. You got to stop. You got to stop swearing. Lynette. All right, Lynette. Do you want to? Well, you've already plugged your book, but we got to we got to move on. Oh, I guess you're done with me then. I am done with you. Lynette, do you have any further plugs? Um, no, just my book is coming up January 21st. You call that art, The Dumbing Down of Art in America by Lynette Schwartz, Education Supervisor, Bayonne, New Jersey. Why do you have a British accent and you're from Bayonne, New Jersey? Why do you want your face punched in? All right, hang up on her! Hang up on her! Hang up! I, I can't, I can't take it!